Well, we did talk about uh, <clears throat> we did talk about putting a, a cable release on our um, small rig um, side handle with the um, NATO mount, um, which was that rosewood piece. And um, <clears throat> my plan was to um, do some sanding on it. I didn't like how thick it was. And I wanted to put a cable release through it, so my thought was to sand all this down, drill a hole, and mount a cable release in there. And then I remembered I had this handle here, which is a... Uh, uh, it's for a 35 millimeter camera, I believe. Um, it, it came with a 35 millimeter camera I have with a bunch of lenses, and it had the cable release. And I was going to just. The only reason I got to look at it I was like, well, I'll just take that cable release off. Uh, but then I changed my mind because I liked how thin this handle is and it's aluminum so basically all I did was take the uh, well here and this is and, and the uh, cable release actually reaches up there nicely it's just set in there I didn't screw it in but to screw it in just like I push the push this back just a little bit so this can turn um, put this up here and just thread it in until it's in and push that snug and then I can operate my um, shutter from there but um, and it was real simple to put in um, really um, let me take it off here um, And here, here is the, uh, well, I'll just take it off here. Um, basically, you just unthread here. <clears throat> um, and you can see there's four screws right here, um, Allen head screws. Take those off. And then there are um, two uh, bolts underneath and it's it's a thick chunk of aluminum it comes down about here so I just cut a rectangle hole um, the ends are kind of rounded and that slides in there and on I put two holes through a quarter by quarter inch with 20 threads per inch um, threaded this up um, just exactly like it was when it was on that piece of rosewood um, and it has a on the bottom can detach the um, a wrist strap and but I wanted it, the wrist strap to be able to loop up through the top and it had this um, slot in here which I believe was for a wheel like this that is long since gone that because there's a hole in the center here um, in aluminum um, and I believe it was probably to screw onto the bottom of, of your 35 millimeter camera um, so I uh, it had a piece of cork in here it was brown and it had a hole in the middle of it so I took that off. When I took this apart, it just came out. It was glued in. And then I cut another piece of leather that's real similar to, well, it's the same leather I used to make my lens cap holder. And it matches real close to that body of that. And then, so this, as you can see, is just a wrist strap. Um, and it wasn't long enough to really secure in any way um, so I took a piece of boot lace black leather boot lace 
and um, I can get this off of here. I may have to work it back a little bit. It's pretty snug to get in, but you can see I just took a piece of boot leather, boot lace, and um, I don't know if you can see. I'll get this under the light. And I spliced it together with um, a little wire connector. Um, like when you splice wires together, it was a yellow one. And I just cut the yellow plastic off and used crimpers and stuck the um, the leather into it and squeezed it down. Um, and then I just kind of worked it back underneath there so you can't see it from the top. And, um, and that way <clears throat> um, I've got a nice, you know, put it on the back of my hand um, for whatever reason. I just wanted it, so I have it. But it, anyway, um, it's real nice. It's very heavy. Um, very sturdy, good hardware, and um, I like it. So, um, if I don't, and I, if I don't want to uh, have this on here, um, all I have to do is just loosen my small rig mount here, bring it up, and it has a little stop at the top. And there's one at the bottom, so if it comes loose, you're not going to drop your camera. So you just push that in, slide it off. So then, um, all I have left is just my mount. And then I can use my handhold on the side if I should choose to. Um, I'll put this back on. Just line it up. Slide it to where you want it. Push the little locking, red locking lever down, and um, you're back. So, um, oh, and this, this fell out, but when I was monkeying about with it, but you can see it's just a regular cable release came with that. So, um, it goes back here, and of course, it, you know, if you aren't using it, you should probably take this cable release loose, so you don't give yourself trouble up here or break your cable end or something. I, I could just see myself breaking something like that. But, um, and anyway, um, that's my latest update on my camera. I did take the other day, um, when I bought this, it came with film holders and they were all loaded with film. I was going to take the film out and I thought, well, wait a minute. Who would leave unexposed film in film holders and I looked and the holders all have you know I, when you pull the slide, dark slide out it's got a black side and a, and a silver and, they, and from what I understand most people put the black out if it's been exposed the silver out if it hasn't been exposed and they were all all of them were the black side out so I just went outside took my light meter and, and took I don't know I think 12 pictures of various things just to play around, put it on a tripod, and tried my hand at some photography with it. Um, I ordered some development chemicals and some more film, and um, some paper, development paper, or photo paper. And um, I have several books on how to do it, and I've got some trays that I picked up and all I think I have everything I need to do it to do my developing and again I have a another box of film um, that came in this kit let me go grab it this came in the box with my camera sealed um, brand new old stock um, 
Panatomic X. I think it's a ISO 32. I don't see that anywhere on the box, but I think it'll tell me inside. But I read it somewhere on the internet the other night when I was look, trying to figure out. Um, but it, it was supposed to have been used uh, before January 1951. So, um, and it's the correct size. It is the three and a quarter by four and a quarter. The film that I ordered is f uh, four by five because everybody's out of stock of the three and a quarter by four and a quarter sizes. So I have a cutter, so I'll just have to cut that down in the dark room, which is a bathroom with everything sealed up. And then I will give this a try. Um, that'll be the. This will be the next. Probably the next stuff I try. Either that or my new stuff I got coming. So, anyhow. Um, there it is. I'll put this back on there. And. And we have it. I think it's a pretty camera. Let me know if you think it's pretty or if you like it. Um, I do. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see